With the 29th pick in the 2020 NBA Draft, the Toronto Raptors select Malachi Flynn from San Diego State University. And just like that, Timmy, lives change. On the line, mm-hmm. the 29th overall pick of the NBA Draft last night, newest member of the Toronto Raptors, Malachi Flynn, joining us. Malachi, congratulations. I, I got to warn you, out of San Diego State, you are aware of the bar that's been set in Toronto for guys from San Diego State, right? Like, you know you know Man. what's happened in this city. You're aware? I sure, I sure do. I, I hear about it all the time. So I'm going uh, I'm to do the best I can to live up to that. How big are the, uh, how, I was going to say the footprints, but maybe how big are the handprints of Kawhi Leonard at San Diego? Like, how much do you hear about Kawhi Leonard at San Diego State? He is San Diego State, almost. Like, I mean, his his little handprint is is in our gym, super big. Um, the coach is always talking about his work ethic, everything. So he's a, I mean, he's a huge part of of their their tradition and and everything they got going. Malachi Flynn, newest member of the Raptors, taken 29th overall last night, joining us here on Tim and Sid. Cons- Malachi, considering how messed up this year has been. And I'm sure the, the the interview process was unique and you couldn't go see as many teams, obviously, as you would have liked. Did you have any clue who would take you? Did you have any feeling? I know your agent's probably hearing things, but was this a surprise mm-hmm. that Bobby Webster and company decided to bring you in? Yeah, I mean, the, like you said, the agents had a kind of, of an idea of, of what teams might be on the radar. Um, Toronto was actually a team that, I felt could be a chance. So it wasn't a complete surprise, but just still hearing the name called and um, seeing that they actually took the the chance on me and gave me the opportunity. um, It was a great feeling. We've watched as this Raptors team uh, has mined some pretty good talent from places that people didn't expect, whether it's Pascal Siakam, uh, Fred Van Vliet, OG Ananobi. You talked about um, the residue of Kawhi Leonard in at San Diego State and and the work ethic and the work that he put in Sid and I have noticed that there's been a pretty strong thread through these gold mine picks that the Raptors end up getting there's there's defense there's a willingness to play D there's that work ethic that you talked about and there's also basketball IQ did did that kind of stuff come up in your chats with the Raptors staff and is that something you see in yourself yeah, most definitely. I mean, they've expressed what they've been able to do with players that have come to the organization. Um, and I mean, they don't even have to. It speaks for itself. Look at their guys and what they've done, the the ability to win the championship and just continue to improve guys that people didn't think could do it. So for me, I'm just happy to be a part of that. And I know whatever their plan is for me, um, that I think it'll work out. Malachi, the book on you is... Um... Well, there's a lot of chapters to it. You know, you're a guy that can, you can play some D. Your, your shooting's improved. You can do a lot out there on the court. Um, you know, the Raptors have some point guards that can do that in theory and had over the last couple of years. What, what do you hope to learn from Fred Van Fleet? What do you hope to learn from Kyle Lowry in this coming season? I mean, everything. Honestly, I think there are two guards that are experienced in this league now and knows what it takes to go out and perform at a high level um, each game. And I think that just being around them, I'll be able to learn things um, that will, will be hard to learn without them. So I'm, I'm just grateful that I have two guards to look up, look up and, and go against and practice every day. And I think it'll make me a lot better. I'm reading about this, uh, this Ballermine prep that uh, one Malachi Flynn went to, and it seems like there's a, a pretty good run of players from local Washington legend Abdul Ghadi. Uh, I remember Casey Cavalry doing some damage down the road in Spokane. And I think everyone who's watching or listening knows Avery Bradley's name, and he's gonna about, he's about to make some money. They all went to your high school in Tacoma, yep. Washington. How much did you hear about these guys? And I noticed that another Tacoma kid in Isaiah Thomas, the younger Isaiah Thomas, said that you were the best point guard in the draft. How often has that two-time All-Star seen you work? And what's it like to see that across Twitter when he says that? Yeah, I mean, it's, he's like a, a big brother to me. Um, he's, he's helped me out. He's a mentor. He's a lot of different things. Um, it has, has helped me out in a lot of ways. And it's, it's definitely good to see um, just ha- that relationship we have. But 
as far as Bellman goes, it's, there is a lot of talent. There's, there's a lot of talent in Tacoma in general. Um, and, and Bellman has been able to produce some pretty good ones. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm one of the next ones. Thank you for correcting me without actually telling me that I was wrong on the pronunciation. Smooth. I appreciate smooth, that. Smooth, Malachi. Smooth. Veteran <laughs> move. Good. Oh, good. Veteran move. <laughs> Very, that's, your, that's, that's, that's a good, seasoned yeah. vet move. Yeah. Malachi, um, I, I don't know when my next family photo will be, but you've given me an idea. Mm-hmm. Uh, tank tops. Uh, you you kind of took over social media last night after ESPN ran the family photo. It was amazing. How did that happen? <laughs> And, and, and are you, do you love the attention it caught on one, the biggest night of your, of your basketball life? The fact that not only did you get drafted, but people love your family, like instantly. It's not even, not yeah. even a debate. Yeah. It's crazy. I just think it's funny to be honest. We, my grandma would make us take family pictures, um, every year. We had no choice. She was going to bring us and we were going to take pictures in. It was always, it was always an issue of what outfits we were going to wear each year because we did it so many times. So seeing everybody loved it, that's that's good to hear. Um, but it's it's just all funny games um, to me. I got to admit, um, your brother who has the nice haircut may look like me if I take my glasses off, but I'm not <laughs> going. But I'm not going to walk down that road. Let, let's let's switch gears here, and um, it, it's it's really interesting to me because. It's been a tough year for a lot of people, understandably. And we know that people's health is way more pressing than anything that we do at a sports sense. But as an athlete, what was tougher? Was it missing the NCAA tournament on what looked like a pretty darn good San Diego State team? Or was it having to wait for the draft? I think, shoot, that's a tough one, honestly. I, they were both tough. Uh, not, not having that chance to play in the tournament and kind of just it's two things that you you look look forward to your whole life um but i would have to say the tournament just because we missed it i mean the draft still happened i was still able to hear my name called it it was virtual but i mean the, it didn't take the feeling away so I, I would go with the the tournament if i had to choose one um malachi normally you know normally a kid like you gets drafted there's summer league you have some workouts with the guys. You have some longer, maybe individual workouts with Coach Nurse or some of the assistants. You're going in there around December 1st, and you got to know the playbook, man. Like this is, and you're not the only one. Every kid is in the same boat. How, how is that going to go? Like, are how prepared will you possibly be for such a unique situation like that? Yeah, I'm gonna just go in with an open mindset, um, ready to learn. I think, I mean, the good thing now is there's no school. I don't got to go to class, so. I have a lot of time on my hands to to try to pick up whatever they're throwing at me um, and, and just kind of put in the extra time to go over the playbook and just do a, go over the, the defensive strategies, just everything. So it'll be good just to at least have more time. I don't got to worry about school. That's what I'm excited about. <laughs> <laughs> I would be excited about that as well. Uh, last one from me. And listen, Tacoma is only about three hours from the Canadian border. Um have you ever been to the north that you are about to enter? Nah, it's crazy. I was just thinking that, like, it's only three-hour drive, and I've never been up there. Um, and I end up getting drafted to them. So I'm excited to be a part of it, um, and I can't wait to finally go out there and see what Toronto's about. Well, if you need any help, uh, we are there for you. Let us know. Uh, we can give you some spots, some good food to put in your belly. Uh, we are experts in that category. So if you need anything once you're up here, you let us know, okay? Yes, sir. I'll be sure to hit you guys up. Congratulations, Malachi, to you and your family. All the best to you and hope to talk to you in person soon. Take care, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. 